Hi everybody, it's Carrie, and in today's video, you're gonna watch me get ready. So first I'm just gonna take my Shea Moisture Mist and Spray thingy and just spray it in my hair. I'm gonna let that dry while I just finish up my makeup. I'm gonna conceal under my eyes, cause y'all know I have dark circles. I don't sleep. And then I'm just gonna fill in my eyebrows. Not too heavy because this is an everyday makeup. Next I'm gonna use my tinted moisturizer from e.l.f. and I'm just gonna dot that around all over my face. Especially where I put the concealer to blend it out. I'm just taking my e.l.f. powder brush and blending this in. Next I'm going to take this bronzer and I'm just going to do a light contour just to add some dimension back to my face because after you put on your foundation your face tends to look a little flat so I'm attempting to put some life back in my face. Next I'm just going to use this blush and this is my favorite blush. You guys probably figured that out because I use it a lot. It's not too heavy, it's just a light wash of color on my cheeks and I really love it. Next I'm going to take this e.l.f. shimmering facial whip and I'm going to use it as my highlighter right on the high points of my cheeks and right above my brow. I'm just gonna set all of that with my Maybelline Fit Me powder foundation in 340. Like I said before, I absolutely love this foundation. It matches my skin tone perfectly. I have a visitor. Next I'm gonna take my, my e.l.f. eyelid primer and I'm just gonna prime my lids for my eyeshadow. Next I'm going to take my e.l.f. eyebrow filler and lifter and I'm going to use this beige part and I'm just going to place that under my brow for my brow highlight and blend it out with my finger. Next I'm just going to take a wide shimmery eyeshadow and I'm just gonna place that all over my lid. Then I'm gonna take this taupey color and I'm gonna place that in my crease and my outer V. I'm going to take this orange and brown mixed together and I'm going to place that above my crease a little bit in my crease and just use that as a transition color. I'm going to take a clean blending brush and just blend this all out. I'm going to take a brown eyeliner and I'm just going to line my top lashes and my lower lashes. Nothing too dramatic because this is an everyday look. Then I'm going to take my favorite mascara from CoverGirl and I'm going to apply that off camera. Next I'm going to take this lip pencil from Jordana. It's plum. And I'm gonna line the outside of my lips. And I'm gonna take the liner in a little bit. 
Then I'm gonna take this red lip liner. I don't remember the name of it. It's just a really bright red. And I'm gonna put that in the middle. I know right now it looks like the same color, but it's really not. One is like, one is plum and one is red. Then I'm gonna take uh, this red lipstick. I'm just gonna use a lip brush and put that right on top of where I put the red lip liner. Then I'm gonna take a plum uh, lipstick and this one actually has um, it's like an iridescent or pearlescent color it has a, like a blue tint to it and I'm just gonna put that where I place the plum lip liner and that's the makeup look guys now onto the hair so I already have my hair in twist and my hair is very very old because I was sick so I have not washed my hair in a while so I'm just taking out the twist I'm not trying to do a twist out I actually wanted an afro but I guess because I already had some product in my hair the twist came out a little bit more defined than I wanted so it's gonna be like a curly afro so I'm just gonna take all my twists out here, I'm showing you how I separate them. Remember, you have to be very gentle because natural hair is very delicate. And you don't want to get any tangles or knots. Make sure you, your fingernails are cut and filed so they don't snag and rip out your hair. So this is how my hair looks after I pulled out all the twists. Then I'm just going to separate those uh, curls further so that it can have a little more volume and stuff. I'm going to take my afro pick and I'm just going to pick out the roots, lift up the roots. Now it's beginning to look more like an afro. I'm going to take a hairpin because I want the part right there to stay. So I'm just going to pin it down. Because my hair is not long enough as yet to just lay on its own. I'm going to take some olive oil edge control. I'm going to place this on my edges. I'm gonna take a brush. And this brush is actually very, very soft. It's like a baby's brush. So don't think I'm ripping out my edges using that brush. All right, guys, this is the finished look. This is my hair. This is a curly fro, and this is my makeup. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.